Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we came here to the investigation sector um, due to a, a kind of a weird crossover with Alan Wake. And it's like the Bureau were monitoring Cauldron Lake where all the Alan Wake storyline kind of took place. So it's an anomaly, but I, d I don't know, it's a bit strange. But, well, we'll see what happens anyway. So, let's get into it. Right. Well, what's in here, first of all? Take these root. Peep in here. Hello. Oh, it's already been out. Did I? Did I come and get that? I can't remember. Okay, so filing and processing. I think that, yeah, this was going on as well. It's kind of a weird duplication type thing. There we are. Okay, let's um, let's have a no. Oh, okay. Have some concrete, my friend. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Hello! And now you're dead. My god. There we are, boys. Have a file cabinet to the face. Anyone else? What is that? Whoa, what? Oh, hiya. There you go. Oh, got him on the way in. already in here. That was pretty good. Do you know it's weird, actually, with, with this game? Sometimes I find it massively frustrating because there's really difficult bits that you have to get through. And then other times... Whoa. I just... Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. I don't know. I just love it. It's great. I mean, ever, that... May sequence is still my favourite sequence ever. I mean, the episode after with Polaris was good as well, so I don't know. What's this? Hartman arrest. Ooh, official arrest report. Case 74 WA 004. Offender name Hartman Emil. Oh, the doctor, yes, of course. Victims' names Alan Wake, Anderson Tor, Anderson Odin, redacted. Lane Rudolph. De Sol Wendy, Emerson Thomas, redacted. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Officers' names. Dennis, or is that is that Dennis or Denis? Might be Denis. Special Agent Remy. Charges. Code 4, kidnapping of altered individuals, count 1. 1 count, even. Code 8, sanctions against altered organisations, 1 count. Code 37, obstruction of Bureau investigation, 1 count. Code 74, breaching of the Ash Act, 6 counts. Wow. Additional notes. Offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers, due to their senility and wake, possibly deceased. Yes. Yes, because the Anderson brothers were um, the two, like, old rocker dudes. Gods of Asgard. Real band, actually. And um, the song from the maze sequence that we played through is uh, actually on there. It's called Take Control. It's on Spotify. I uh, might have added it to my playlist for when I'm at the gym, working hard, as usual. <laughs> all right. So can we go in? Can we move all this garbage? No. Apparently, apparently we can't. I thought we'd be able to move this stuff, but there must be another way in there. Okay. Do we go up there? Just, can we go up there? I don't... Oh, we can get this though. Thank you. Lovely. Shows it does, it does pay to um, 
Have a look, nosy round. Can we not move this thing? Get out! Anything else in here? No, we can't go any further. Alright. Wow, we made a little bit of a mess there, but whatever. Apparently we embedded it in the wall. Okay! Nothing else in there. What else? Oh, hello. What's this? More, more info? Oh, yes. Foot gossip. Oh my god, what? Hello, my feet gossip at night and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Um. Alright, well, alright. Service tunnel, okay. I mean, oh. What is this? Wait! That reminds me of the, you know, the, the, the black goop from Alan Wake? This powerful light source. Of course, this is blocking the door, so pick now this I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Yeah. Why not? Okay. There we are. Yeah, it is. It's the black stuff from Alan Wake. The, way, the, huh? the goop. Makes sense. The black goop. Um, I'll put that down now, Jesse. That's fine. Anything else in here? For us? What are these things? Okay. Just big servers or something? I don't know. Oh, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. Okay. Do we maybe need to... Whoa! Hey, dude, you got messed right up, didn't you? Good God, there's like none of his face left. That's weird. Let's go up, Jesse. There we go. I still never figured out a way to get get past all this, did I? I don't think we have any powers for it. Hmm. Maybe we'll find something eventually to let us get through. Why is the floor wet? Ooh. Okay. Okay, I think this is going to be interesting. Hello? Let's claim this control point. Ooh! Okay. Alright, well... Why do I get the feeling we're going to have to do battle with Harmon and it's, it's going to be... Filing and processing fire break operation centre active investigations. Hmm. Well... Doesn't look like we can go much further down here, but we'll, we'll have a quick peep. Just to be um, certain that there's nothing up here for us. No. Always worth a look, you know. Always worth a look. Alright. Let's, um, let's go and see what's wrong with Hartman. Oh. The third thing. Oh. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. Oh. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. So this is part of Alan Wake's book? He wrote this? We need a power cell, okay, that's fine. This, oh, uh, um, we need a light, don't we? We need a light. Uh, okay, is there a light maybe in here? No, it's the one in here that we could use. Not that I can see. Would we have to go back for one, do you suppose? Alright. Bust on through. Is there anything through here, actually? Hmm. Okay. There we go. So it may pay to keep a um, a light around. It may pay to keep the light with us, God. Okay. Uh, so that needs another power cell as well. Anything else in here? File, lots of files. An audio recording. Okay. And a door. The 
we probably won't be able to go through. All right, let's um, just set that down, Jesse. That's fine. Okay. Eagle Limited Summary. What's that? The Eagle Limited AWE-44 Event Summary A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group, known as Redacted. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Event Response the Bureau had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gathered suggested an event of this calibre was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. Hmm. Inter interesting. What's this one? The Shadow! Oh my god, this sounds awful. Uh, Alright, that's... yeah, okay. Examination of Paranatural Entities The Shadow Summary Paranatural Entity A-010 aka The Shadow is an aggressive redacted consisting of three known types. Type A Localised manifestations of sentient redacted capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting redacted over its surroundings. Type B Shaded individuals Ah, this is the Alan Wake stuff. Okay. Human bodies redacted by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain redacted of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C. Shaded objects. Similar to type B, except the, that inanimate objects are redacted solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE-35, which may imply a shared link to a redacted intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of an redacted. Refer to file 6-34-1923 for a full report. Ah, so that's the, the, the goop. We'll call it the goop. I know that goop isn't that... Um, Gwyneth Paltrow's brand or something, I don't know, but that's not what we're about. It's just goop. Sticky goop. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. Oh, this abyss, this void, this it very right. much does not wish to be understood. If All light right. symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists, I know for a fact that oh. Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake mm. now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Hmm. Well, he always was a bit of a strange fellow, wasn't he? I remember. But yes, so there you go. So. Is maybe... Is he maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Alright. 
got my light with me. Ah, there you go. So we need one of those there. Which, oh, put this down. Grab this. Smash the windows, sorry. That powers that. Which should power this. Whoa! Whoa, that was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be launching your grenades at me, man. There you go, help you, girl. Where are you? You filthy animals. Oh, you're up there, are you? There you are, have it. Oh! Like it hurt a little bit, that. I get at Oh! Yeah. Alright! <laughs> okay. I say I hear Arty. What are these jobs to do, maybe? But, well, let's just have a little peek round here first. I think we'll start... We came down the stairs here, didn't we? So we might as well start here. What's this? NASA Cooperation Review? NASA's involved now? Interagency Cooperation Decision. Re-NASA. Summary. Following the NASA slash FBC coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyse. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organisations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the redacted far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of Black Rock. From its medium Earth orbit, the redacted will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Refer to file 3-81-4812 for full report. I see. Ooh. Field research on HIS entity. HIS Corrupted Ranger. Airborne. Confidential. Summary. This subgroup of HIS Corrupted Rangers has manifested the ability to levitate similar to the HIS Elevated Agents. However, these airborne Hiss rangers display no telekinetic abilities and simply continue to use mundane Bureau weaponry. This evolution, being so similar to the elevated, possibly indicates that the Hiss can share permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. However, the fact that this development in Hiss rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible. They could be responding to an altered item or other paranatural element found only in that sector. Or perhaps this is the natural progression of the Hiss Ranger phenotype. Not enough time has passed to determine a conclusory trajectory of development for each of the Hiss manifestations, assuming any such trajectory exists. Refer to file redacted for full report. Mmm, mm, indeed. I hope you don't mind my reading these things, but I, I love to find out the law, you know. What's this? Black market. Ooh. Official findings report. Illegal altered item market. Summary. The black market hub specialising in the trade of occult talismans, relics and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in Redacted. Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations reveal that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. C. 
The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Refer to file 5-12-0221 for full report. Yeah, that would be a little bit a little bit mad, wouldn't it? Because these people don't know what they're dealing with. I mean, we don't to some extent, but I don't know. Pemberton. What's this? Interrogation complaint. Ooh, okay. Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the right thing I was fudging hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? BS. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fudging stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fudging terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shiz blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back into the interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on these buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if it slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Wow. Wow. Agent Hewitt. The... The cojones on you, my dear. Um, what's this? Agent Fisher, day oh. six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Good God. Wire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front deck. Oh, they're all different states, of course. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... Huh. Inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how, exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun. Uh. I have no explanation. I can hear them laugh. Going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. Whoa. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. Oh. So he was, like, spying in the hotels or something? I don't know. It's weird. All right. Oh. That was me, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. Oh. <laughs> the recording better work this time or I swear to God. I'm... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, dear. Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... I think he's dead. Is that... Yeah. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Wow, well. So they were, like, spying on people in hotels. That seems a little weird. Anything else? Any other papers? Forms? Anything else for me to read my way through? Like I say, I hope you don't mind me reading these things, but I am going to keep doing it, just so you know. Because it's interesting. Oh, look, another one. Jeez, we've got a whole office in here, look. All employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. Good God. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Damn. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. See, so there you go. You can't be claiming overtime if you get stuck in another dimension for a few hours, which is that's kind of a that's kind of a cop out, isn't it? Because that'd be so annoying. Imagine if you got stuck somewhere for hours and then couldn't do anything about it. So we need to find another power cell for that, don't we? Oh, could we use this power cell? I suppose. Can we? We can't yank it now. It's in. All right. Well, we'll find another one somewhere. I'm sure. There'll be one hanging about. All right, let's see what Artie's things are. What are these? Another fine mess. 
Dark Standards. Hey, darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city. Said the old man. Like dark, but good for nothing. Get rid of it. Clear the mold. Ah, that might be quite handy though, because that would tell us how to how to clear the mold. All right. Because I think the mold is what makes us. Oh God. Burn the dark. All right, that's another arty mission, obviously. Okay, what the hell? Can we not go in here? Uh, or is it just? I don't feel right. Maybe we should just... Something in this darkness is draining me. Maybe we should get a light. Let's get the light. Alright, here we go. There's something in here doing something to us. There's the little elevator. No, they called it a lift, sorry. Is there another power source thing? Ah. Hello, what's this? Oh, another, um... Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. Oh my god. Tell me about delivery disaster. I don't... I mean... It wasn't very good. That's not what you It wasn't very good. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, okay, not an end. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes it smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. Okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Wow. Alright. Can you actually get a degree in film? Well, I suppose you can. I, d I just, I don't know. I don't know. Wow, look at this. Look at this, man. That's where the power cell... Oh, God. There's two power cells we need. So now we need three total. All right, let's just drop that. Grab that. And then grab that again. Oh, it's draining my, my power. Do I need to come back into the light, maybe? Oh, there you go. Let's just, let's just do that. I want my light, though. That's, that's my light. Can. Oh god, can I kick it over there? Damn it, Barbie! Never mind. I'm guessing we have to go and find a power source somewhere, so let's do that. Okay. Look at that! Now we're okay. Oh dear. No, we're not. Shit. Now what? What is it? What? What is that? You're powered by ugly darkness. Come on, elevator, time to go. What the hell? Fuck, fuck. Nothing even touches it. So you don't like the light. There you go, have some more. Can I get my little light from over here now? Aha! I have light, sir. Oh my god. Good god. What the hell? Okay, so do we need to... Aha, yes. There you go. Yeah, I'd have some light, son. Get out of here, you filthy animal. So I assume I need to find another power source thing. Can't go out, okay. Can I go up the elevator now? I suppose? Maybe? No. 
Those are the batteries, okay. Need those things, don't I? Yeah, I have some light, so. So I need to get those batteries out of there, don't I? Does that kind of drive him away? Yeah. Can't get them. Oh, okay. Is that power cell up there? Hmm. I think it is, but I don't know. We are in bad shape. We are in bad shape. Oh, there you go. Got some light now. Perfect. I think we just have to get a little bit closer. That's fine. Where else do we need to go here? There? Hmm. Is the one in here? No. Jeez Louise. There we go. Ah! Thank you very much. Get out of here, girl. You filthy animal. Yeah, how do you like that? <sighs> My god. That was bloody awful. Jesus. I like that dude. He's a butthole. But I think we can use these power cores to power up the other bits that we saw so let's 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 try that okay I think it was through here wasn't it I don't know what that does just turns on the light yeah just restores power to the place I think maybe that's the that's the point we have to try and get all the lights on as well because with the lights off obviously um, you know bad stuff's gonna happen Oh, our health is in quite, quite a state at this point, which is not good, but do you know what, whatever. At least we survived that dude. Ugh, what a butthole. Okay. Let's um, see what else is around here, first of all, before we continue onwards. Oh, that was quite the, uh, quite the battle. Anyway. Night Spring Screenplay? Note, this screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become the show's writers. Night Springs Spec Script Episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake Host voiceover it is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? Int. Interior secret lab. Night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist. I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready, Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. Scientists. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Oh dear. Hartman, background. Here we go. Summary. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery centre in Redacted WA, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. 
Publicly, Hartman's treatment centre seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilise any latent redacted abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping redacted to his own benefit, which has earned him a Class 2 paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to redacted reality through artistic mediums, see file redacted. Investigation has proven that Dr Hartman's illegal endeavours were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the redacted investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated and released redacted months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical licence has been permanently revoked. Refer to file 7-12-8557 for full report. Mm. Yes. So Hartman really was a dodgy swine. Good grief. Honestly, bloody hell. Alright, is there anything else here? Any other things I need to power up? No. All right. Oh! Something there. Should we... Just getting more light into the place. Perfect. That's what we need. Anything in here? Arcade machines? Shum! The arcade machine allows... Jesse too. Whatever. All right, let's have a look at this. Crowd control or deadline? Okay, let's. Oh my God! What on earth? Shoom! Shoom! You can use. Oh, okay, I missed that completely. The goal. The goal of crowd control is to survive. I... well, alright, um... There you go, that takes care of that. Well, that didn't really work, did it? But never mind. Never mind. We're alright. Bonco Entertainment 1989, okay. Can I? There you go. Okay. Well, that's yeah. That's yeah. That's fine. Thank you very much for allowing us to 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 play. Okay. Uh, right. Well, there you have it, folks. Jesus. I think I might have just broken all those windows with that. But never mind. That's 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 fine. That's absolutely fine. So. I think we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will continue onwards. And um, go up the lift and just see what else is up there. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>